have with us uh, Shweta Shri Mohanta ma'am, who will be guiding us about sports medicine. And uh, ma'am, I'll give it to you now. Please introduce us. Okay, so uh, so basically, sports medicine is a very upcoming branch. Um, it was there was earlier there was diploma sports medicine. Now we also have MD sports medicine. So I am doing MD sports medicine. Uh, in this, it's a it's a three year course, and uh, so there are two things which we need to understand. Uh, the sports medicine not only deals with athletes, but they also deal with the normal population. So. Um, because it's essentially sports and exercise medicine. Uh, we all know how there, you know, there's an increase in the non-communicable diseases. There are various lifestyle diseases which are going around, which are, which is like, um, there's an epidemic of those diseases. So all the treatment of that uh, is also one aspect of sports medicine. And then there is the athlete, um, the elite athlete aspect, which is associated with it. So, uh, in brief, it will be very difficult to summarize at all because it's like it's very vast. Because when you are, uh, it has multiple, uh, you know, branches or uh, what do you say? There's there's a lot of things which is uh, present inside sports and exercise medicine. Uh, for example, you have to see if you take just an athlete, for example. Then for him, you have to see the injury prevention. If there is any injury, then it's diagnosis, treatment, management, the rehabilitation, followed by return to play. That how they should, you know, uh, come back into sports so that that injury doesn't happen again. And they are also back at the same level from which they left. So that's one aspect. Uh, which uh, which is related to athletes then there is you you have to you can become a team doctor so when you are a team doctor you also have to uh, be there with the team all the time during their matches their season pre-season post-season during season so uh, their entire before performance their pre-participation evaluation followed by their uh, health how they are faring whether there, there is any overtraining in the athletes or uh, then their medical health. So the, despite being a specialty, you still have to know certain basic things like the cardiovascular system of an athlete is slightly different. What is it that is different in them as compared to normal? So that is that is something that you need to know. Not only cardiovascular, like all the systems in the body generally. Uh, and then so so that you know that as a team doctor okay this is normal in an athlete because uh, when an athlete is working so much his physical fitness his levels are different as compared to a normal person so yeah. what is that normal in that yeah uh, in that athlete so you need to know that apart from that they can uh, suffer injuries like there can be concussion if they're playing any contact sports like, uh, I don't know if you guys know, recently there was a, I am derailing from the topic. I will, it's like, there's so many offshoots of the things which are coming in my mind. But anyways, I'll come back. So, uh, so that's one part. Then there is concussion, your head, eyes, nose, ENT, all of that, all those systems from head to toe, you have to see. So essentially, it's like, you need to know all of that also uh, as a team doctor. Then you come again, you can also, uh, uh, the other thing is sports psychology, sports nutrition that has to be incorporated in the entire rehabilitation of the athlete. So you see that as well. Uh, and then finally, the exercise medicine part. So there's something called as exercise prescription. You know how uh, you go to uh, a doctor and then they tell you that, you know, you have to reduce weight. Or you have to reduce weight, so you have to do, or you have to do a certain lifestyle modifications so that you reduce weight. Um, you don't have hypertension and all of that. So, yeah. uh, but they, they tell you that you know walk for thirty minutes. Yeah, walk for thirty minutes is not going to cut it. It's not okay. going to do anything for the patient. So, okay. what about exercise prescription? That as a sports and exercise medicine specialist, you should you should know. 
that okay this patient has come his bmi is this his target weight is this and he is having complaints of this is this yeah according to that you will then see that okay he should do strength training twice a week he should use he should uh, take this much strength he should do this much uh, this much endurance okay this part of the muscle is uh, not working correctly so this muscle has to be targeted so all of that is there and then how to reduce the weight uh, that is also one of the aspects because uh, obesity diabetes hypertension all of these are associated um, uh, these conditions are associated with um, sedentary lifestyle so how to make them more active how to uh, make sure that they get back uh, you know there's so many researches going on which say that if you reduce the weight pcos and so many other conditions can you know revert back so uh, so that's that's like a gist ki okay these many things are included in this mm-hmm. but not limited to it uh one more thing i would like to say is uh, people tend to compare it to two different branches one is orthopedics and one is pmr so we have both the things in it uh, in us it's not like ki um, uh, a lot of we see daily opd patients as well and in those patients there is um, uh they can come with complain of right shoulder pain that right shoulder pain could be because of dislocation matlab they might have dislocated or they have a frozen shoulder or there is a impingement in the shoulder so these conditions also we manage so that is if you see that's like orthopedics plus you also have rehabilitation so there is pmr also so it's like everything is grouped in together Uh, so i'll just uh, what i have learned from uh, the conversation i'll just enumerate the points is like uh, in sports medicine it's like a huge umbrella which contains one uh, one side contains orthopedics one side contains pmr and the other side contains specialty of sports medicine in which we uh, look after the athletes and uh, specifically the prevention part and then the management part and then the recovery part so this is the broad umbrella of uh, sports medicine yeah yeah it's like we are the jack of all trades but master of none although the full i would like to complete it with uh, but uh, it's better to be a jack of all trades than master of only one in today's <laughs> time that's very true so it's like that there's a lot of things you summarize it pretty well uh so ma'am we'll uh, start with your introduction now uh how did you uh, like enter this branch and what's your background with mbbs uh so i did my mbbs from uh, army college of medical sciences new delhi so i have always been into sports since i was a child uh and during college also i was uh, a lot into badminton so i had this thing that you know i want to uh, i've seen the growth of an athlete i've seen how you know professional athletes play and i have immense respect for them but with that i also know that uh, india at at uh, this state at this uh, present moment does not have the doctor or the specialty it needs to uh, give the athletes a correct direction when it comes to their training yeah this i agree like uh, there was one incident in which uh, a sports person from our country had to go to germany for prop uh, rehab so yeah continue yeah yeah exactly so i i know which athlete you are talking about but yes so <laughs> so yeah this happens a lot in fact recently also um, unfortunately um, a mixed martial arts player he died of concussion um, during a bout okay in south india so okay. there are uh, you know these things we don't hear too much like uh, more than that there is lack of awareness about this branch this field like when you go out when you tell them you know that this is sports medicine no one understand even when i um so after finishing after completing internship when i was choosing which branch i should go to 
I had uh, in my mind, I had only one option, which was peds at that point. When you are fresh out of okay, and you know that you know, नहीं नहीं peds अच्छा है, मम्मा ने बोला है, पापा ने बोला है कि हाँ हाँ ये अच्छा है. Was the same stories with me. I'm like pediatrics is such a nice branch, but then everybody says that pediatrics like. Uh, like you have very limited options there, but with sports medicine, as you've told, there's a vast avenue, and even the opportunity has not been explored. Like pediatrics is very much saturated, also. Um, so yeah, yeah, continue. So what happened was I was yeah my parents they were thinking that new peds take lo it's safer it's you know you have more opportunities you like kids also you're good with them whatever it is but while i was choosing. i saw the syllabus of sports medicine and i realized that this is a much needed branch uh, the thing that you know how to eat good food what is the correct nutrition for a person leave leave anyone else a normal human being as a doctor we are not able to take care of ourselves okay we don't know how much we should exercise we don't know how much nutrition we should eat we just know about what medication we need to take if we fall sick Very, we we don't we don't prepare for healthiness we prepare for disease yeah exactly so that concept it, it never you know i always feel you should try and be healthy a good doctor is someone who takes you off medication not puts you on them like theek hai for like uh, emergencies traumas that's a separate thing where you need need that to be alive medicine is important you know for so many reasons but with that there should always be a balance you should always not see ki theek hai dawaiyo se ilaj lo ki ghar aa rahe ho headache ho raha hai eat a paracetamol and sleep no even medicine may be they will be like you know have a headache diary why do you have that headache avoid those stimulus okay get your eyes tested you know all this evidence based thing in that evidence based thing this has also come up that you know you should the amount of uh, inactivity which is there in us is immense the reason the thing the mere fact that we have to get programs like fit india rolling ki koi exercise karo bhai tum log chal nahi rahe ho exercise karo yoga karo whatever you can do do it so i'm very this this point i agree like even us medicals we are like so like we are not careful with the medications we take like we and many times we self medicate also and we don't know about like what is just like you said like what is proper nutrition what is proper uh, lifestyle so that is very important like this i feel is very important that we should highlight this yeah so we have like uh, so this medicine is for you know uh, when you read in psm what is the definition of health it's the you have to see all the five well being of your own body it's not ki kitna medicine le rahe ho it has to be your complete well being okay mental ho gaya social physical emotional all these well beings together comprise health so that is something which was there in the syllabus when i saw ki sports nutrition has sports psychology hai ye sab these are things that obviously you have to read on your own pg mein koi aapko padhayega nahi you have to take out time do it practice it yourself then only you'll be able to learn but the mere fact that there is a md branch where they are thinking about this direction ki ha ye sab hona chahiye ek athlete ko fit banane ke liye so i like i got too interested uh, i was like bas ab just i'll just put this बस काउंसलिंग में निकल गया कि ठीक है मिल गया आपको स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन देन आई हैव नॉट लुक बैक देन तो हो गया सो मैम दिस विल बी अ वेरी परफेक्ट स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग लाइक व्हाट आर द 3 इयर्स ऑफ रेजिडेंटशिप लाइक ओके सो आई एम स्टिल इन माय थर्ड ईयर बाकी फर्स्ट ईयर वाज हेल आई थिंक नॉट इट्स लाइक what i am do uh, now we don't have any faculty of sports medicine because it's such a new branch yeah so all our faculty they are of some other department yeah because of which we uh, there are operative patients and we have to take care of them post operatively we have to prepare do the work up pre operatively although ours is a very it's a it's md it's not a operative branch 
so um, the first year was all about work up work up of the patients whoever uh, like all athletes only uh, that uh, we have uh, arthroscopy at our center so yeah. along with the athletes who um, they come with acl tear so yeah. the ligament uh, to acl uh, in the knee we have multiple ligaments and most commonly acl is the ligament which is injured yeah we used to do constant workups of uh, acl then uh, having night duties and all of that it although i would uh, touch it i was still say my life was much better than my counterparts in medicine surgery obs gynae peds because i was able to sleep <laughs> i did not have emergencies i had a pretty chill first year it's just that because we have less number of residents so the work on each resident is more otherwise um, it was nice to have that first year uh, you know when when i look to my senior uh, my uh, colleagues in the other departments i was at a much better place mentally also emotionally also but um, but we were not able to do too much sports medicine so that always you know sort of made me feel ki nahi yaar aise nahi hona chahiye i should you know get to do more sports medicine then we uh, got to go into khelo india we were there as the tournament doctor for uh, junior hockey women's league so that was the point when i realized ki nahi jo liya hai sahi liya hai yahi karna hai mere ko so there is always ups and down uh, like residency uh, first year was something which i didn't expect probably that's why i felt ki nahi yaar i didn't like it too much second year has been pretty uh, it's it's been better than the first year i was able to explore more about sports medicine i was able to uh, do more for example there are certain things like uh, exercise physiology so we were able to go see how a physiology lab is for specifically for sports sciences and exercise where elite athletes train what are the new things in it uh, for example in medicine you need a stethoscope you need certain investigations like ultrasound uh, mri you know all of these things in sports medicine i want to know how the physique of my patient is so like the body composition analysis how how does that work how much fat protein is there how much protein i want in my athlete so that he lifts that kind of weight how much fat should be there in a swimmer so that it's easy for him to float so so by a composition analysis gives me that par ki okay this patient has this much so we have certain different tools like isokinetic machines so there is something called as peak peak torque in a patient uh, in the movement of the limb a little bit of physics is also involved then there's some bio biomechanical assessment of a patient and uh, how to see vo2 max all of that because we you need to know what is the capacity lung capacity of that individual whether or not he will be able to sprint that much whether or not he will be able to endure that sport for that long so we should know that beforehand so that we can work in the training in that direction work for his training in that direction ki okay you have hockey players in those hockey players these are the defenders these are the attackers so which of them will need to sprint more which can conserve their energy and who is going to perform better at what time like uh, before the match in the beginning of the match later in the match so all these things you can you know sort of have a very scientific approach to that and that way plan a match or a game for that uh, for that entire team per se so these things you get to know as you you know uh, grow uh, with the branch so it's not very hospital oriented so i will not have very hospital stories it's more of like uh, it's more of like a, a team person and a, uh, for a respectable athlete yeah exactly it's more it's more field how i see it it's more into the field going there being there seeing them play where usually in a as a doctor you are the spotlight in a hospital because everyone needs you when you go out it's the athlete is the star player you are a supporting role for that 
पर्टिक्युलर एथलीट बट इट्स दी एंटायर जर्नी दैट यू सी ना यू इट्स लाइक वेन यू सी दैट एथलीट विन दैट्स द मोमेंट विच विल ब्रिंग टीयर्स टू यर आईज just sometimes you know there are so many times um, we i have my colleagues there are there who have uh, made a patient return back to sport after two surgeries i know the amount of tears in her eyes that i have seen when you know she, she was a gymnast basically and uh, she got two surgeries one of the knee and one of the shoulder but she has still come back into a game at a very good level in the sport and um, when um, my colleague showed me that video ki you know look she is she is getting back into sport it was such a beautiful moment that you know you have made sure that someone who has who loves doing something is back into that again so that's another uh, beauty to it which comes uh, with it so all these beautiful things you see it um, during the time when you are you know like everyone i think this is universal first year ko hamesha na they are always stressed they are always in tension they will always uh, crib about how bad their life is it's always there no matter which first year he or she is sabki life kharab hi hoti hai but uh, honestly i think we still had a much you know uh, better uh, probably because we loved doing what we did so and we love this field so collectively hum sare log hum even my co pgs that should are very nice uh, hum sab milke ek sath dukh sukh baant lete the first year mein jitna ho gaya ho gaya uske baad abhi second year se when we are able to see more athletes we are able to train them more we are feeling much better so, so that's how my second year is going and to say that i think the helping the athlete part is one of the loved parts of this branch yeah and i'd like to uh, i'd like to give you the stage to tell us about the pros and cons of this uh, like sports medicine okay okay i'll just start with cons first because bahut sare cons log bolte hain iske bare mein when i first entered this field uh, my first question people used to ask me is kyun liya koi aur seat nahi mil rahi thi kya hmm. simply because the, they think there is no job opportunity for this honestly agar aap dekhoge abhi bahar we don't have sr sr seats we don't have we don't know consultant seats ka hai like future mein agar dekhna hai we don't know i can't say with concrete ki tarah se ki ha mere ko pata hai mera next job mere ko kahan se milega so that's that's one con which everyone says ki you don't know what your what this future holds but with that also i think pro is ka yahi hai ki baki sare fields aise saturate ho gaye hain bolte hain ki you know so many fields have saturated unko bhi jobs nahi milti hai aapko super speciality karni padti hai aur uske baad whatever i have not faced it so i don't know about it but um, pro is ka mere ko ye lagta hai ki because there is it's so new you can do whatever you want to do with it it's all, it's up to you kisi bhi branch ka scope jo hai wo us usko karne wale pe depend karta hai ki agar you say what it be safe to say like settling in a tier one city or going for fellowships is comparatively easier in sports medicine i don't know I will not know. <laughs> so that is how new, I mean, that is how unexplored the branch is. Like the field is vast, open for exploration. Exactly. I have. I know that you can do so much with it. I don't know if people have done it. But uh, it's like uh, pro. Me, abhi we have uh, so we have our seniors who have gone. they have gone with certain teams wo wahan pe settle abhi uh, ho rahe hain so uh, aisa nahi hai ki bilkul job opportunities nahi hai if you you know if there is uh, if there is awareness about this field then people will uh, be like ki ha theek hai we know ki aisa kuch aa raha hai for example people don't know ki sports medicine ka bhi koi special specialist hota hai agar aap unko bataoge ki ha एक स्पोर्ट्स मैनेजमेंट का स्पेशलिस्ट है तो दे विल डेफिनेटली वांट टू हायर यू बिकॉज़ यू 
this trend i've seen with the uh, like the corporate hospitals like in all the metro cities there is uh, like a sports medicine specialist is sitting in the corporate setup one example i'd like to give is fortis in all in major fortis hospitals i've seen always seen a sports medicine specialist and since that time i'm wondering that what does this person do and today when i heard that even in exercise is just not like a 30 minute walk and you're done with it there's so many aspects of it so that is very uh, like important i would like to ask that uh, what is the settlement opportunities in uh, the government setup versus the private setup like you just uh, shared that in the government setup there are no sr ship as of now so mm -hmm. uh, what is the future for a sports medicine person who has just uh, completed his md so there are only a certain number of seats of sr sr ship like we do have sports medicine srs but it's like ad hoc basis so um, i'm not sure if we have any regular seats though we do have ad hoc seats our uh, some of our seniors are our srs right now so that is there although uh, we don't have any consultant uh, of sports medicine uh, who has done md sports medicine apart from that um, there are uh, setups which are coming up like we have um, uh, the government recently uh, brought out many uh, uh, these uh, seats for uh, sports authority of india like sports authority of india they have uh, seats for medical officers uh, who can have you know these uh, who are who if they have a sports medicine degree they are preferred over the other uh, candidates so it's like that so it's not and multiple uh, centers are opening up like there is sports injury center in delhi there are other centers which are opening up all over the all over india so that every state has its own center and then there can be a mega center because for an athlete we have seen athletes coming from kerala from tripura from srinagar so many athletes from srinagar from bihar so it's very difficult for for them to come to come every day to show ki theek hai abhi mera itna ho gaya because rehab is not a straight line ki theek hai today is here next day you will be here it's very zigzag so for that uh, because of that uh, they are having they are opening up centers at different places so that they can have a particular athlete surveillance system and there there are lots of things which are uh, in on the way <laughs> they are they are under wraps it's not like it's i can come out and say everything about it because even i am not very uh, sure ki kya kya hai kya kya nahi hai so that although there are things which are coming up it's not like ki bilkul nahi hoga uh, ho raha hai it's like how uh, you compare the um, cancer for example cancer was not so prevalent in like 30 years back but now uh, like i've seen specialist cancer institutes open up everywhere and with such rapid uh, growth so i think uh, sports medicine pmr and these branches will also like go up only the graph is towards growth only so uh, another point like there is in ophthalmology there is the center of sight by aims people that is there so how is that like can somebody centers and what would that aspect be like what would be the monetary aspects of that the salary the lifestyle and after sr ship what would be those kind of opportunities yeah so uh, there's one thing like uh, internationally sports medicine is a very huge branch like it's one of the top branches that people want to take uh, that's also because the they have a very good sports support system like every college every school has their own athlete system like they have their young athletes then they have college uh, you know they prepare for olympics like right from the school and with that they also have the sports medicine facilities with them like sports medicine uh, specialist along with that the basically the physician with that the coach who are all in it together where uh, so so this kind of system it has to come to india uh, but it's going to take time it's definitely going to take time uh, now about the like uh, your question was uh, basically ki um, 
what is the kind of system that is going to come am i right yeah so so there is uh, one thing um there is like we have i'll talk like from the grassroots level a lot of our athletes they come from villages then uh, they there are various camps which are held where they get selected or from there then they have various national uh, there are various district level competitions state national level competitions and then they reach in between if there is any injury they show at their local level okay ab here what has happened is at whatever point that patient is that athlete is we take him as the center uh, this is how sports medicine has been described that the athlete is the center and with that you have the coach because the coach is the one person who is going to train him or her no matter what the doctor says for the athlete the coach is the guru you are yeah. no one in front of them yeah so you you should you should have a a good communication with the coach which is missing in our setup a patient comes to hospital he comes alone he doesn't come with his coach his coach doesn't know that i want him to do only this workout so that he doesn't tire this you know so there are various things so one thing which we need to incorporate is the coach uh, and the other team members like a sports medicine physician will tell you ki ye ye cheeze aapko karni hai i will give you an example from which we can start for example let's say a patient has come with you with uh, a tendinopathy a rotator cuff tear a um, rotator cuff tendinopathy right so he is a badminton player for example now there can be various uh, reasons for which he can have a pain he can have that shoulder pain one is could be a biomechanical cause that you have to rule out as a sports medicine physician so one biomechanical lab has to be there the second thing once that biomechanical assessment is done uh, now you know that okay he has uh, the thing is whenever a player plays badminton he has lot of overhand movements okay overhead movements so all those in that overhead movements there is a um, lot of um, power that you have to put via your shoulder but that power it is not just the shoulder it has to come from your lower body a lot of people don't know this they think ki yahan kandhe se maarna hai to kandhe pe hi zor dalna hai if they do this it is going to uh, it is uh, they will land up into these kind of conditions where they have shoulder pain So I guess that is like the back foot that is there, uh, like the back foot. Usse force generate होता है, and then you that transfers to the overhead movement. Am I right? Yeah. So exactly, your your lower limb, your glute, glutes, your core, your trunk. This is the chain that it follows. So, uh, if you go to a normal uh, doctor, they will be like, "It's okay. Shoulder के लिए आप exercise ये वाला कर लो, ये वाला कर लो, and pain के लिए दवाई खा लो." sports medicine why is it different is because you are going to tell them that no probably you have a lower body weakness your strength is not appropriate enough because of which you have compensated and that is why you have a shoulder pain so my rehab will not be just shoulder it will also be lower body strength workouts it will also be okay if there is this pain then probably your scapula is also involved you know while i assess him biomechanically because it's very commonly seen ki they do, they just do all these bicep curls and you know nothing they will not do anything for their back so they land yeah. up into all these problems so so for that you need to have a physiotherapist with you who can tell them those exercises correctly a gym trainer with you who can also tell them ki okay aise karke aapko karna hai apart from that uh, you you can have a pmr a uh, person with you to discuss your rehabilitation it's just not one person like i said there has to be you can always uh, you'll have to see whether or not he requires any kind of surgical intervention so that is also one part so an orthopedician is also roped in a pmr where you can discuss rehabilitation with them he is also roped in so um, like multiple people it has to be a multidisciplinary approach 
you know a sports medicine physician has to be a team player he can't function alone so uh, that is why like when when you see uh, when you see that you have to build a center for sports medicine and apex center it has to have sports sciences in hand sports psychology sports nutrition the orthopedician the pmr gym trainers physiotherapists like exercise physiologists all their role is paramount for the complete total functioning of an uh, uh, you know uh, of the athlete uh, you know how the career of an athlete is very short so even even if they are out in one match it is very difficult it's very painful for them stakes are very high yes yeah, the stakes are very high psychologically they are so demotivated there are so many times they are just like ki why me this question is always there why me why couldn't i have you know perform better why not why couldn't i just do that why did this happen to me why did i why my acl got torn will i ever be able to come back because there's so much taboo you know ki ek bar sport se bahar chale gaye to aap wapas nahi ja paoge andar you will never be able to reach that level so that thing is always there but you know there's so many players who have come back from uh, if uh, i don't know if you guys know uh, in badminton there's a player called uh, uh, marina so uh, she got had a acl tear i think there is a documentary on her as well she was an international level player she went back came back to that international level and won medals even after that acl surgery similarly there are so many cricketers who have played got injured got operated come back there's an olympian who indian olympian who got injured got operated came back so it's like uh, it's it's not it's the mindset which is there which is behind you know in india there's so much girls are not allowed to play so we have players who you know want to play but can't because they are like do do saal se ghar pe baithi hui hai because iska pair theek nahi ho pa raha hai and uh, abhi shaadi kara do so oh. that is uh, that will i think that will be very helpful in supporting all of these arenas that is where the sports md person can come in and support the uh, special uh, the sports person mentally emotionally and even on a family basis they can counsel the decision maker in their family that this is the scope that your child can go to and uh-huh. yeah yeah exactly because that's that's where the sports psychology will come in come into play that that's why you need to know that how that sports person is thinking at that point everyone you know will get demotivated everyone will think ki yaar meri itni to life hai but no that that's where you come in ki theek hai sports psychology mein aapko ye karna hai you know ki aise kar sakte ho aap fir then comes but all of this is not available at all you know to everyone these yeah. are we are talking these are very idealistic things that we are talking about you know the apex if we say but uh, if i as a sports medicine physician can do do all this for my my patient who is going to come to me that's enough so that's why you are there as a sports medicine physician ki theek hai i can i know ki iska psychologically she will be sad iska nutrition iska kharab chal raha hai iska ye hai the fact that i am aware of these things is big because we don't have awareness about all this at least for an athlete if you are not an athlete you will not know ki ha ye is is cheezon se guzarta hai there are so many things if you are not uh, you know if do you play any sport yeah i play tennis you play tennis so you know do you have you ever had uh, tennis elbow yeah and uh, one of the other things is like uh, a lot of uh, people from my school they pursued tennis uh, like in state and in uh, international even national level so mm-hmm. the thing that you told about that the coach is their god that is so true like yeah. even their parents even uh, the co colleagues the co players you're playing with nobody matters to you as much as the coach does yeah 
that is true and sometimes you know what happens is that is why you need to educate the coach sab as well ki aap apne bacche se itna mat karao या इसको ओवर ट्रेनिंग हो रही है वन वन ऑफ द थिंग्स इज ओवर ट्रेनिंग ओके कि नहीं तुम्हें दर्द हो रहा है दर्द में खेलते चले जाओ नहीं यू शुड नो कि नहीं यार ये ऐसा पॉइंट है इसमें स्टॉप कर लो यू नो गेट दैट पेशेंट बैक बट हमेशा सबके दिमाग में होता है कि अरे दो महीने में तो कॉम्पिटिशन है दो महीने में तो मैच है अभी अगर नहीं खेलेगा तो क्या होगा अगर नहीं खेलेगा तो शायद ठीक होके वो ओवर ट्रेनिंग हो वो ठीक होके वो वापस से अपने रिकवरी में आ जाए What if it's overreaching and आप उसको कंटिन्यू करो कि नहीं तुम खेलो पुश योर सेल्फ पुश योर सेल्फ एंड दर्फॉर्मेंस इज गोइंग टू गो डाउन टू मंथ लेटर ही विल नॉट परफॉर्म सो दिस दिस थिंग एज अ यू नो स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन फिजिशियन यू विल बी एबल टू डायग्नोज की ठीक है ये ओवर ट्रेनिंग में जा रहा है कोच साहब उसको मत करो कोच साहब इसको ठीक है ये ओवर ट्रेनिंग नहीं है ये इंजरी है इसको सिर्फ दो दिन के रेस्ट के बाद आप प्ले करवा दो so that decision it's a very critical decision and you have to be a very good diagnostician to you know reach that level clinician diagnostician whatever you say so you know ma'am i i totally understand what you're uh, trying to bring through the message and one more thing i would like to ask like what kind of a person should not think about sports medicine somebody who is very much after settling like they have to settle in a particular city and have certain kind of a life what kind of a person should not think about this branch i think everyone should think about this branch because there is something for everyone in this if you don't want to be associated with athlete you just okay yeah there are certain people surgical people okay jinko chahiye ki nahi mere ko kaat ke kholna hai patient ko dekhna hai nahi unke liye nahi hai it's mdf uh, the only intervention you will do are probably injections we do give uh, uh, intra articular injections and you know prp steroids all of those we do give so that is the intervention part which is there with us but apart from that we don't have uh, kata pt wala kuch surgery nahi hai hamara so wo nahi who are completely interested baki to um, if you want to do research it's a very beautiful field bilkul open hai you can do research in it uh if you want to settle 9 to 5 hai you can always uh, check the lifestyle diseases wala thing exercise prescription you can always be a normal doctor because uh, we are supposed to know everything about an athlete ear nose throat gale se upar se lekar niche tak तो एसेंशियली आप ये भी करते हो मेडिसिन भी पढ़ते हो पूरा हमारा मेडिसिन का पोस्टिंग लगता है कार्डियो मतलब कार्डियो का लगता है एंडोक्राइन का लगता है ऑब्सगाइनी का लगता है फॉरेंसिक मेडिसिन का लगता है ये सारी चीजें लाइक एज एस्टिमेशन आल्सो कम्स इन की अ प्लेयर अ लॉट ऑफ पेशेंट्स दे फेक देयर एज की नहीं मैं सिक्सटीन में हूँ सेवनटीन एटीन ईयर्स के होंगे बट दे विल कम्पीट इन अंडर सेवनटीन तो उसके लिए भी यू शुड नो की एज एस्टिमेशन so for that forensic medicine is also there so that also we read so sab kuch hi padh rahe hote hain to aisa nahi hai ki agar aapko sab kuch janna hai ek patient ke bare mein you want to give like a holistic approach rakhna hai uh, for health anyone can take it jisko particular interest hai ki nahi mere ko medicine hi janna hai just medicine ki all systems of medicine then theek hai they can it might not be for them it's like that me i think just go through the syllabus once you will you know you will uh, yourself know ki nahi yaar mere ko ye padhna hai nahi yaar mere ko ye nahi padhna so wo pata chal jata hai it's very difficult to say ki kisko acha lagega kisko nahi lagega ma'am uh, any special message from your side to the watchers of our channel yaar yeah, uh, first to uh, this thing know your calling is a very beautiful initiative so kudos to you guys bahut like it's a very needed thing much needed kitne sare log uh, they ask us also uh, we like on instagram they message or on facebook they find and message ki ma'am ye field kaisa hai kaise thoda sa bata do to ye acha hai ki aap log uh, dikha rahe ho so that everyone can you know choose a particular you know they can know ki ha uh, is branch mein jana chahiye ya isme nahi jana chahiye 
और तो मेरे लगता है मैंने ना बहुत ऐसे खिचड़ी विचड़ी बना दी है सो वेन यू गैस एडिट इसको भी थोड़ा एडिट आउट कर देना विच दिस पार्ट आई एम से और uh, ये भी है देर इज वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू से वी इफ यू गैस वॉन्ट टू नो थोड़ा प्रॉपर ऐसे बेस लाइन की क्या क्या होता है we have a instagram account which we had made uh, one year back because we wanted to you know uh, tell people ki aisa bhi kuch branch hai and they should uh, know about it so it's called sawbonesmd. Uh, sawbonesmd on instagram i'll just share that link to you so you can see that post we have enumerated ki sports medicine mein kya kya hota hai kya kya dekhna chahiye the things that we see यू कैन हैव अ ब्रीफ आइडिया अभी थीसिस चल रहा था हमारे फाइनल ईयर का सो आई वॉज नॉट एबल वी वर नॉट इन देंट मेंटल स्टेट टू पुट अप एनी अदर पोस्ट तो काफी टाइम से वो वेकेंट है सो एक उसमें यू कैन यू गैस कैन गो एंड चेक इट आउट बाकी अलॉट ऑफ अलॉट ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट फॉर यू गैस की आप लोगों ने यू गैस हैव स्टार्टेड दिस थिंग एंड Uh, keep going you are, you guys are going doing a good job and for the viewers of the channel uh, you guys are all junior to me abhi ya to tum log sab mbs kar rahe hoge ya fir kuch time baad uh, you will give exam main abhi khatam karke nikal jaungi <laughs> to i would like to say ki never never at all think ki uh, mere jaise मेरे को बोला गया था कि यू आर अ गुड स्टूडेंट वाई आर यू टेकिंग द सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज इट्स दिस सब्जेक्ट वॉज लुक डाउन अपॉन दिस इज स्टिल लुक डाउन अपॉन दिस ए की यू आर नथिंग मोर देन अ फिजियोथेरापिस्ट यू आर नथिंग मोर देन अ पी एम आर आई नो आई एम स्टडिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट दैट इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इट इज एंटायरली अप टू यू कि आप उसको किस तरह से लेते हो दोज हु यू नो जो भी आपके आस पास आपको ऐसे चीजें बोलेंगे they have themselves not yet studied about that they do not know anything at all about it log bolne ke liye na bahut bolte hai ki nahi medicine kar lo nahi surgery karo nahi anesthesia kya hota hai aise karke matlab but it's not like that each and every branch of medicine is important the most important thing is when you choose it you should love it you will be stuck with it forever agar if you like it just go for it नो इशूज मेरे को अभी आइडिया नहीं है मेरे फ्यूचर का कि क्या करना है बट मेरे को पता है कि कुछ ना कुछ करना है people nobody the gym trainers don't know what to do with weight loss the md md medicine person does not know the obs person does not know so like sports medicine person is the nearest to that uh, problem that person like the sports medicine person can solve it the easiest so yeah. there is this aspect also then there is specifically somebody wants to uh, get recognized with the sports person that is also there somebody wants to open a center that is also there so like there are so many aspects to things i think uh, i think we can never be out of job just like cancer has yeah. taken up the stage pehle mm-hmm. radiotherapy people were looked down upon that why are you doing radiotherapy you are just a physicist you are never yes. going to be a proper doctor so it is that kind of a stigma that is attached i think yeah initially how even radio uh, radiologists were tell, told ki aap log kya ho aap log to sirf technicians ho but it's a branch which is so high right now so ye sari cheeze soch ke koi branch nahi lena अपनी खुशी से लेना कि हाँ मेरे को ये चीज पसंद है जैसे माय सेंटर इज नॉट नोन फॉर वेट लॉस करवाना किसी पेशेंट का बट देर इज पेशेंट्स हु हैव कम विद ऑस्टियोआर्थराइटिस ओके शी इज अ ओल्ड शी इज अ मिडिल एज लेडी स्कोप ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द सेंस शी कुड हैव रिड्यूस्ड शी कैन रिड्यूस वेट बिकॉज ऑफ विच दैट ओ ए पेन विल गो यू विल नॉट बिलीव दैट पेशेंट आई काउंसल हर शी हैज लॉस ट्वेल्व के ऑफ वेट she is not complaining of knee pain she has good muscle strength now she is she her, she has changed her diet she has changed her lifestyle and she has become much more fit 
सो दिस चेंज दैट यू हैव गॉड यू नो एज मेडिसिन यू से कि नहीं यार हमें तो जान बचानी है एक पेशेंट की दैट्स ऑलवेज देयर इन द बैक ऑफ योर माइंड लाइक दैट थिंग जान बचाना इज लाइक वेरी स्पेसिफिक बट क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ दैट हु विल गिव द पेशेंट क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट या सो देयर सो देयर सो मच यू कुड डू ओके द कॉल दैट फॉर दैट पेशेंट that quality of life that has which has improved it is something okay it is something for that patient so you will always find satisfaction in your job medicine field hi aisa hai ki aapko satisfaction milega but wo aapko kahan pe time deke rehna jaise mere paas mere liye bhi time hai even in first year aisa nahi tha ki mai 24 except for my 24 hour duties aisa nahi tha ki mere ko rukna hi padega मैं घर जाके अपने बिस्तर पे सोती थी एवरी डे एटलीस्ट दस बजे अगर मैं दस बजे भी घर आऊ दस ग्यारह इलेवन ओ क्लॉक ऑल्सो आई यूज टू कम आई यूज टू गो एट सेवन ओ क्लॉक कोई दिक्कत नहीं बट मैं अपने घर आ पाती थी मेरे फ्रेंड्स हु आर डूइंग सर्जरी दे हैव नॉट गॉन होम फॉर फाइव डेज ब्रो देट वॉज सच ओ आई यूज टू फील बैड मैं उनको कॉल करती थी कि ठीक है यार आज थोड़ा जल्दी फ्री में कैन वी गो आउट एंड हैव फूड भाई नहीं <coughs> वो बोलते थे मैं सो जाऊं इधर ही पेशेंट के बेड पे मेरे लिए उतना काफी है सो दैट्स दैट्स द रियलिटी ऑफ दीज बिग ब्रांचेस ओके सर्जरी भाई वेरी हेक्टिक मेडिसिन वेरी हेक्टिक ऑर्थो एव लाइक ऑर्थो गाइनी सब लोग एक दूसरे पे चिल्ला ही रहे हैं यार कुछ मेरा एम था मैं चार ब्रांचेस जो है ये मैंने बोली है इनमें से एक भी नहीं लूंगी बिकॉज आई न्यू कि इतना ज्यादा मतलब टैक्सिंग होता है आई वॉन्टेड टाइम फॉर माई सेल्फ जितना पढ़ लिया ना एमबीबीएस में बहुत पढ़ लिया उसके बाद मेरे को था थोड़ा सा शांति थोड़ा सा मेरे को खेलना है आई ऑलवेज आई स्टिल वॉन्टेड टू प्ले बैडमिंटन डिस्पाइट एवरी थिंग सो आई वॉन्टेड टू यू नो कम बैक इन टू माई गेम प्ले बैडमिंटन मोर I chose it. I used to go back, play badminton, come back home. वो अलग वो so that's thing. You have your own time now. You have your own personal time, personal space. आपको मिलता है काम के बाद. अभी आप आके आराम से पढ़ सकते हो. मेरे को वार्ड के बारे में यहाँ ऐसे कुछ सोचना नहीं है. So this, so that's one thing which is good. कि ठीक है, चल है. That way. thank you for sharing uh, thank you for this platform where i could speak so thanks and always uh, a pleasure to host you ma'am always a pleasure